Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the outlet for your dishwasher pump. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, although we won't be working near some electrical circuits, it's a good idea that we disconnect power to the dishwasher. So locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. And once we've done that, we need to open up the dishwasher and remove all of the items on the bottom rack as well as the bottom rack. We'll just set the rack aside. Next, we'll remove the lower spray arm. We simply need to loosen that retaining nut on the top. Just turn it counterclockwise. Remove that. Lift the spray arm off. Make sure that the upper bearing is in place. And as well, remove the lower bearing. Now with the rack out of the way, our next step will be to remove the screws that secure that outlet cover to the pump. These are typically a number 15 Torx head screw. Now once we've removed the screws, we'll then lift up on that outlet cover and pull it away from the supply tube at the back. Now with the old pump outlet removed, our next one I want to take this gasket out. So take a small thin blade screwdriver, just reach into that groove, capture that and pull it out. And we'll discard that. And then I we'll want to take and clean that area out of any debris. So next we'll place the new gasket into that groove. Make sure there's no twists in it. Uh, it sits down nice and flush. And next we'll need to remove the O-ring from the outlet to that rear manifold. Simply peel that off. And again, we'll clean that up a bit. We'll then fit it onto the new pump outlet. Remove any excess debris from the inner edge of that manifold. Fit the new pump outlet into it. Line up the screw holes and stagger those screws as you put them in so that we don't cause that to bind. Now we're ready to put the lower spray arm back on. We'll begin by putting in the lower bearing. Spray arm on top of that. Slide in the upper bearing and the retaining nut and tighten that. Make sure it still turns freely. And now we're ready to put the lower rack in. So we simply need to push the rack back into place. We can close up the dishwasher, reconnect the power if you've disconnected it, and your repair is complete.